Brian, thanks so much for being with us. Can we just start by having you tell us who are the Red River Echoes? Mm -hmm. We are a group of um, Métis people in Manitoba and outside of Manitoba as well. Our membership is currently growing. Um, and we're a collective that's interested in seeing a return to the old ways of Métis governance, to our laws, to our traditional ways of being and living with um, each other and our, our relatives. The open letter to the leadership of the Manitoba Métis Federation was spurred by the huge advertisement the MMF took out supporting, uh, expressing support for the Winnipeg Police Service. Uh, why did the collective take issue with that? Mm -hmm. Well, for us, it was a moment of um, the last straw where we decided that this was the moment um, where we were just so shocked by um, the actions of the MMF in this instance. And I think for us, um, one of the big things was Aisha Hudson's murder. Um, the recent in, uh, independent investigation unit um, recently came out um, holding no accountability for the officers involved. And this was a moment of us not honoring our own laws. This was very blatant where we were disregarding the um, lived experiences of of Métis, Indigenous people who have faced violence at the hands of the police, and in particular, um, women. And so that's why this group, led by women, um, this is enough. And so that's why we're taking a stand now, and um, we are awake, as is uh, part of our name. You mentioned this is the last straw. What are some of the other issues the collective is concerned about with the MMF? Mm -hmm. So we discussed um, the West Wootin instance in February 2020, uh, where the MMF um, uh, did not support our West Wootin relatives. And um, it was also the moments of uh, the Lord Wolseley petitions that were circulating uh, in Winnipeg. Um, the Lord Wolseley was at the heart of the reign of terror that um, victimized so many Métis people. Um, really, the exodus of us from our lands was, a, was by the hands of Lord Wolseley and the MMF decision not to remove those names despite grassroots activists' work on that. Um, so yeah, there's uh, been a few issues and this was, this was our moment. Are there changes that the collective would like to see within the MMF? Mm -hmm. So one big change that we're looking to push for um, as a tangible advocacy outcome here is to change the uh, constitution um, of the MMF that requires um, volunteer service on a local um, before you can be eligible to run for president of the Manitoba Métis Federation. Um, and so this is something that we don't see as fair, that, you know, if the MMF is truly a democracy, um, you know, why, why do we have that? Why is that role there? So we are looking to make our democracy uh, more inclusive. Rand, we'll have to leave it there, but uh, really do appreciate you taking some time for us today. Thank you so much.